pretty sobering experience coming down the canal for the first time since Hurricane Ian made landfall. It was 11 days ago, made landfall about 12 miles, maybe 15 miles from this location, and it just wreaked havoc on our canals. Just taking a little break from, from the cleanup at my house to uh, make sure the boat's running good, and thank God it is. It's just a true miracle uh, that my boat survived. I know a lot of people took the same precautions I did and, and they just weren't quite as lucky. Um, I was just incredibly fortunate. I just thank my, my guardian angel above um, for the help that, that she provides to me in my life every day. Hey Kevin! That's my new buddy Kevin, he just fixed my roof. This guy's an animal. I literally just jumped up on my roof with a couple shingles and started whacking away. He says, hey, you got any glue? Throw him some glue. Done. And what did he do? Went elsewhere and helped other people. Guy, like I say, that guy's an animal. Good to know people like that. We evacuated Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock. We were always in the cone of the hurricane early on in the projections and we got packed and ready to go. Uh, we decided to stay when we went to bed Tuesday because it was forecast to hit north of here in Tampa and we were worried about family in Tampa and taking precautions as we could here to, to take it on. But um, as we woke up they started moving the path of the hurricane more south. We, they started to increase the surge forecast from eight feet to up what turned out to be up to 18 feet. The surge forecast would have put the water over the center island. And when you start, start pumping up a stand-up paddleboard you've never used before, so you can put your cats on it, you know it's time to leave. And it was just kind of a worst case where the hurricane really took a, a right turn as it got close to land and um, we were lucky to get out. I think we, we got out with maybe an hour to spare. Um, the roads were quite flooded. It took us quite a while, but we got to Fort Lauderdale and we were able to get um, a nice spot that allowed us to uh, to really be comfortable. We had our pets, my father-in-law with us, and, um, and we waited and waited. And the, the power at our house came on uh, about seven days after the hurricane. The power is not on most of these houses right now. Um, we just got water, we just got the notice that we can drink the water um, so it's coming back but it's it's uh, coming back slowly and um, there's a heck of a lot of people working their butts off to do it so I called this channel Cape Escape because five years literally to the day of this recording October 8th 2017 we lost our beautiful home in Santa Rosa California in the Tubbs fire and uh, after trying to live in California for quite some time after that, we, we made several moves and several attempts. Uh, we just didn't feel comfortable and we found solace in the water here in Cape Coral and decided to move across the country. And I'm so glad we did. Um, it's such a gorgeous place to live. And we've met some incredibly kind, great people. You know, if, if you're watching this and you lost your boat in Hurricane Ian and you want to get out fishing, send me a message or a comment uh, but I'd be happy to take you out. I, I know how lucky I am, and I want to uh, I want to pay that back. So please send me a message, and let's let's get out. All right. Well, that's it for being on the water. One thing about a hurricane, you get hurricane windows. Inches away from getting in the lanai and in the pool. Well, like I said, I can't believe how lucky I am. It's crazy damage the storm did. My first one. It's not going to be my last one because I'm not moving out of southwest Florida. It's too beautiful here. All right, let's keep cleaning up.